Jordan now eats a forearm from Delmonte, and it looks like Cashew's Whoa. gonna fly. Archer are what the kids today call fire. These kids are full of piss and vinegar, and tonight I think they're planning on God knows doing what. Hiding <laughs> under the ring, working out in the bathroom, being shirtless somewhere. They're uh, two unique individuals are Ricky Archer and CJ Cruz. In 2020, you have to call them just that because who knows what you can say anymore. You can't say anything. I know. Everybody's offended by everything. Everybody is. I think Ricky Archer is lost 24-7, 365. <laughs> There's the bell. You heard Matt Logan saying, let's go, Turkey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the nine-time Chaotic Wrestling Tag Team Champion, Logan Brothers, here in attendance tonight. Matt looking to be uh, up to the challenge. We saw the video uh, on uh, the social media. Yep. Um, recently to set up two matches. Brian Logan will take on Ricky Archer later tonight. If, if, oh, oh boot to the outside. Um, there was a stipulation, he said, okay, well, if, uh, if your boy can beat my brother, I'll let you wrestle me. Yeah, I so, mean, who knows what's gonna happen here tonight, but, I mean, do you think CJ Cruz can honestly knock off one of the most, dec one half of the most decorated tag teams in New England today? Oh, the Logan brothers have um, hit a, oh. ooh, had a little bit of a uh, stumbling block lately. Uh, unable to regain. They actually had the uh, tag team rematch for the titles right here uh, in December, which is just a couple of months ago. Uh, unable to regain and capture their 10th tag team title. And then uh, Matt Logan was out of action, and Brian actually challenged Christian Casanova in Lowell for the heavyweight title, a title that Brian Logan has helped twice in his career. Beautiful crossbody off the top, flying body press, if you will, by CJ Cruz for a count of two. Um, but, you know, the Logan brothers, they want that 10th tag team title. And that they do right now, I mean, they're not gonna really get it done at this point, but I think you're right, the Logan brothers have been hitting some roadblocks as of late, a lot of speed bumps. I think tonight what they have to do is start from the drawing board, start from the bottom, and beat this tag team in singles competition. And then at that point, you move on up two tag teams, go back to what you know, go back to what you're good at. And then at that point, work your way up the ladder, get a shot at the Cat Wrestling Tag Team Championships, and finally capture the illustrious 10th reign. Head first in the top turnbuckle goes CJ Cruz, chopped to the chest by 
Matt Logan snap me around the corner. Matt looks to have dropped a couple of pounds since last time we saw him. Yes, he has. I think he's back to uh, being uh, Matty Lean. Yeah, absolutely. And a little bit of holiday weight. We all have that. I, we, I mean, I've been having it for the last five years. I've like, had it for 50. Uh, so. Yeah, I'm, I'm currently in the bulking process. I, I hear that that's what you're supposed to do is eat a lot of calories. That's what I'm working right now. That was quite a deep chin lock from Matt Logan. CJ Cruz is trying his best to fight out of that. Now that he's free, we got the best drop kick in the business <laughs> from that one, Matty Logan. And it's to God, I've only said it. Looks that leg and gets two. Matt Logan's drop kicks, very reminiscent of those of one jumping Jim Brunzel in my book. <laughs> and um, big night for CJ Cruz. His, <clears throat> excuse me, his aunt is up in attendance here tonight in Hudson, up from Puerto Rico, wow. visiting. And, uh, She's actually celebrating a birthday this weekend and gets to see her nephew, CJ Cruz, do his thing in the ring here tonight in Hudson, Massachusetts. So we welcome Isa, Isa Cruz. Isa Cruz. Well, I'm glad she is here from the island. I'm glad she gets to enjoy watching CJ Cruz. CJ firing back on Matt Logan here. Looking to turn around the momentum. Reversal, center of the ring, clothesline ducked off the ropes, he comes. Woohoo! Head scissor takedown right into the ropes. Could be a little 978 right here. Oh! And he's going up, up to the top rope. CJ Cruz drops the elbow. Big elbow drop. One, two, oh! Oh, and he almost got the pin. Very, very close right there. CJ Cruz in some circles knows the little brick, you know what house? Yeah, poop house. Uh, little brick poop house. Actually, I like that name better. <laughs> oh, the ropes. Oh, chop to the throat. Comes back with a running knee. Could it be enough to hold Matt Logan down? No. I think the mistake that CJ Cruz is doing is, is the Logan brothers have been helping them, trying to become a better tag team, trying to help CJ Cruz and Ricky Archer. Trying to become a better tag team. So you can tell that CJ Cruz isn't putting his all into it as I don't think he wants to actually hurt Matt Logan. And the guys were trying to help them, but oh, Matt Logan almost got the victory there, but. Again, yeah, only a count of two. Yeah. What a uh, hotly contested match. Tag team wrestling alive and well. In fact, tonight, tag team titles and main event. Yep. Right here tonight, Killanova Inc. defending against Death by Davey. Another unique tag team in the ring today, if not the professional wrestling world. Nice pin there. Whoa! He got him! He got the pin! What a crazy upset. Here is your winner, C.J. Cruz. I don't know what happened, these Logan brothers. Uh, maybe this is the time. Maybe it's time for them to leave the boots in the ring, hang up the tights. I mean, these uh, guys can't, they can't get the ball rolling. What's going on here? I was anticipating maybe a little bit of ring rust. And wait a minute now. All right. This was the, uh, I guess we're going to have it right now. Christ. Anyone there talk about Matt Logan and his physique? All right, Brian Logan. Brian Logan and his physique. Oh my God. He's uh, looking like he's on a uh, calorie diet of abs. <laughs> I was gonna say a whole lot of protein in that diet. Jesus. Probably hasn't eaten a carb in about 18 months. So vascular. <laughs> Look at him, you see the veins in his arms. <laughs> so here we go, Ricky Archer and Brian Logan. Brian <laughs> Logan, like I said at the outset, former two-time Chaotic Wrestling Heavyweight Champion, in addition to those nine reigns as Tag Team Champion. As he controls the side headlock on Ricky Arch, Archer will break through. Goes right back to the headlock, taking off the ropes. Far side, sunset flip attempt. Nice roll to with Ryan Logan. Whoa. And that's the uh, sign of the veteran there as Ryan Logan able to roll right through. Crucifix, try to take his man down. Shoulders are pinned, and only a count of two. Right now, this, is, uh, this looks like it's about to go the same way as the first match did. The other half of 
I don't know, the weirdos, is <laughs> going to beat Logan Brothers. I mean... Well, we just call them the kids. Yeah, I mean, call them that. The weird kids. <laughs> call them the weird kids. Unique. I like that. Unique. Yeah, the unique kids. <laughs> Side headlock again. Off the ropes goes Brian Logan. A huge leapfrog by Archer, blocked by Brian on the way back. Nice takeover. Nice head scissor takeover. Nice drop kick. Not as nice as that of Matt Logan, but still very well placed. Into the corner, Archer. This 19 year old kid has a huge future in front of him in this business. Oh. See that evasion by Ryan Logan? Absolutely. Oh, my, whoa! Oh, and his ankle, I'm just... I know. I, I don't I know. even want to go over and look. Reminiscent of B.L. Hurst, who had snapped and shattered his ankle or his shin bone with the guardrail. I, I'm not sure if he's okay. Matt Logan is going to make sure to keep her character down. These guys really have to put the wins on their side, even the odds here, or even the time, because... Right now, Logan Brothers are down, zero to one. Tight quarters here at the Hudson Oaks Lodge. The barrier's a little bit closer to the ring than normal yes. to accommodate the standing room only crowd we've got here. Fans standing all around our broadcast position right now. Yeah, I mean, as long as they're not in front of our vision, I am okay. I mean, we have this lovely monitor here. We sure do. So, I mean, we, we got all kinds of vision. Brian Logan right now is He's a hard hitter, my man, and that guy is going to put a beating on Ricky Archer. I think it was pretty amazing he had that diving spear well scouted, something Ricky Archer is known for hitting. Leg drop on the outside. Puts his man back in, hooks that leg and gets two from referee Rich Bass. Here in our third bout, man, things have been moving fast and furious here on the road to Cole Fury. I guess it's a uh, three-part series. We have three shows before Cole Fury. We're here in Hudson tonight. We're heading to Lowell in two weeks, and just three weeks after that, we're gonna be in Lawrence, Massachusetts, and then all roads lead to Excel Academy in East Boston, Massachusetts, Friday night, March the 27th for Cole Fury 19. Get a lot of ground to cover and a lot to accomplish. Right now, Ricky Archer's trying to accomplish one thing, and that is to loosen that chin lock. Oh, oh you yikes. see that toe to the face? If we had replay, I would want a replay of those toes tickling <laughs> Richie Ar Ricky Archer's cheeks. <laughs> I don't think Archer's going to want to see that again. Unfortunately, he's, uh, both of those ankles seem to be working okay after hitting that guardrail on the outside, obviously stating the obvious here. But yeah, it's good news, though. Off the ropes. Ducks the line, Ooh, kick to the chest. Caught up in the ends of Gurry. So Brian Logan trying to uh, avoid that, trying to back away from it. Backs into that corner, eats a clothesline. Another one. And this kid, Ricky Archer, so much upside in this kid. He's got so much energy. Those rolls can make you very dizzy. Making me dizzy. Whoop. We'll try to do the German, but Brian Logan dropped his hips. There's a hip switch there. Oh, Ricky Archer back to his feet. Schoolboy! Oh, uh, DDT! Down goes Brian Logan. Oh. And only a count of two. Very close. We almost had a second upset in succession. CJ Cruz has already defeated Matt Logan. And now Brian Logan and Ricky Archer. Both men at ringside in their respective partners' corners in the prior bout. Knowing that this match very well could happen, it has. It's been exciting, it's been chaotic. Over the top rope, but look at Archer. And it's right on his feet. Oh, he got that spear! Oh! <laughs> that look, he tried to make the save! That is two losses tonight! Here is your winner, Ricky Archer! The Logan brothers have not only lost once, but they lost twice tonight to a new coming tag team in Chaotic Wrestling. That is unreal. Not the way the uh, reunited Logan brothers wanted to kick off their 2020. Wait a minute. 
But Logan's now pulling Archer and Cruz off the top rope. And we're seeing the we're seeing the legends, the Logan brothers, the nine-time tag team champions. And they're having words with these young upstarts, Ricky Archer and CJ Cruz, who are pushing the hands away. All right. Whoa, here. whoa, whoa, what's happening here? Also another new team. Of oh. course, Chase Delmonte of the Mill City Hooligans. You got Charlie Cashy here from the New England Pro Wrestling Academy who trained alongside Ricky Archer and CJ Cruz. Oh! Whoa. Brian Logan just shoved Chase Delmonte. Forget about the two losses. That's the new, that's the headline right there. I know. Is this a, is this a hooligan breakup here? Uh, it's dissension in the hooligan camp. I mean, we haven't seen them running as a trio for a couple of months now. Yeah. And uh, Chase Delmonte taking young Charlie Cashew under his wing. They're going to be teaming up later tonight. And I can't believe Brian Logan just shoved Chase Delmonte. Yeah, I can't either. And I mean, it's crazy to me to see Chase Delmonte have a change of heart and kind of want to look out for the new crowd coming here in Catech Wrestling. And realistically, he's going to be the future of Catech Wrestling. And I don't think Brian Logan and Matt Logan think their time is up. I think they expect to chase them onto to be on their side. Who knows, ladies and gentlemen, who knows? The stories are going to unfold. We are working our way to Cold Fury. I've wrestled some of the biggest and baddest in chaotic wrestling. Josh Briggs. I've wrestled Brian Fury. I'm a former chaotic wrestling heavyweight champion. But on February 21st, I have to earn my spot at Cold Fury. I have to earn my spot by going one-on-one -on -one with a guy that has never wrestled in Chaotic before. Alexander Hammerstone. A guy that's been in the major leagues, you might say. Well, Retro AG, I've evolved. I've evolved into one hell of a wrestler. Here in Chaotic, around the world, and on the 21st. You're just in my way. And after I beat you, I'm going to beat Christian. I know I'm going to beat Verna. I might even beat Josh Briggs, who knows. But I'm going to be the Chaotic Wrestling Heavyweight Champion. Waves and Curls answered the call. And they're up for a challenge here tonight. And uh, Charlie Cashew and Chase Del Monte. This team has me very much intrigued. I, I, I want to watch Waves and Curls do their entrance for the next, like, <laughs> hour. I love that song, and I loved everything I just watched. <laughs> We've got a little bit of everything there. we got some... Uh, These guys are going to take their time. We're gonna hand out some bandanas. <laughs> Jay Jordan. All right. He's got himself a little Girl Scout cookie. Yeah, he's, he's trying to get some snacks here. Yeah. That's all right. 
Rich Bass patiently waiting in the ring. As it looks like it's gonna be Jay Brandon starting for Waves and Curls. And the chase that runs the place on the opposite side. I think we should give, uh, is that Jay Brandon? Yes. I think we should give him a Girl Scout cookie. Or a box. Jay Brandon needs a box of, <laughs> is he, of food. He of must food. have hurt us. He needs a lot of food. <laughs> he needs to bulk up. But he believes he's strong, and it's it's not the, what is it, the size of the dog? It's the something? It's not, it's not the size of the dog in the fight. It's the size of the fight in the dog. There you go. <laughs> and you see, look at that roll. Those are smooth. He needs what our good friend Tommy Dreamer calls a fat attack. That's when you just raid the fridge at like 1230 at night, and you don't stop till about 2 o'clock. So my everyday life? <laughs> you get the food hangover. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My normal appetite? <laughs> Uh, you and me both. But yeah, we got to get Jay Brandon a uh, cookie or two. As Chase Del Monte, in the best shape of his career, taking young Charlie Cashew under his wing. Yes. <coughs> Very smooth transition here. Is Jay right to the headlock after that drop toe hold? Chase Del Monte thought he knew better. <laughs> <laughs> And we saw Waves and Curls here uh, when we were in Hudson last uh, December, just a couple of months ago. We saw them in tag team action. Nice to have them back here once again. And yet, I think young kids like this, they're looking for an opportunity to uh, be a part of Cole Fury. As we alluded to earlier, everybody in the locker room wants to be a part of Cole Fury. Everybody wants to get to the top of that card. Wow. Great on the right, Chase Del Monte. Controlling the action, referee Rich Bass right there. One of our fine officials. Scoop and a blind tag made by Cashew. <laughs> this kid's got a bright future. As he drops that 195 pounds across the chest of Jay Brandon. I would call it more of a plate. Chest. <laughs> palette, if you will. I like the. Uh, oh, oh, oh my God! Yikes! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> look at the look on Brandon's face. <clears throat> I like this combination of Cashew and Del Monte. Oh, oh my God! I mean. See that amateur shot that Cashew just took, scooping under, giving a single leg, lifting him up, and tossing over his head. Yeah, tuck your chin. <laughs> oh, we're gonna get a third one? Oh, no! So this is Charlie Cashew's version of Suplex City, I guess. Uh, yeah, I mean, it seems so. He's a, like I said, Charlie Cashew has a history in amateur wrestling. He's an amateur wrestling coach as well. Uh, so he coaches, you know, younger generation in amateur wrestling. So this is no surprise to anyone who would know that. Look at that beautiful drop kick. The tag's made. In comes Chase Del Monte. Longest reigning chaotic wrestling heavyweight champion. And look at the much taller Trey Jordan. <laughs> and Chase thought he had the, uh, the smaller guy in there. <laughs> what the hell? What? How did he pull? Did he just pull clothes out of his. <laughs> he just pulled a singlet out of his, out of his tights. Well, you know we say, expect the unexpected. Whoa! That was Trey Jordan. He's a fun kid to be around. I tell you that. It was fun to watch. <laughs> oh, Jason! <laughs> he just Whoa. muscled. Chased Almani and dropped him right on top of Charlie Cashew. No team name for Del Monte and Cashew at this point. <laughs> it's like we're going to count to 10. <laughs> Rich Bass trying to restore order as waves and curls. Trying to ruin this debut of uh, Cashew and Del Monte here in Hudson. It seems to be working. Whoa. Oof. Not smooth, but effective was that evasion. 
Del Monte's gonna start pounding away as is Cashier in the opposite corner. Rich Bass is having a fit. Well, how's Rich Bass supposed to control? He wants control, he's not getting any of it. Oh, Waves and Curls almost collided. <laughs> oh, you're happy. It's <laughs> a dance party? That's all right. <laughs> the fans having a great time. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, down goes Cashew. Chase down goes <laughs> I'm all right with this. <laughs> I love everything I'm watching. <laughs> Play that. Uh, I'm still standing after that. It'd be nice too. Oh boy, Delmonte saves his partner. Oh no! And Trayvon Jordan over the top. Out goes Jay Brandon. Jordan now eats a forearm from Delmonte, and it looks like Cashew's Whoa! gonna fly. I'm telling you, this Charlie Cashew has so much upside. We said it about Archer, we said it about Cruz, I say it about Cintron. All these young kids that you guys are training at the New England Press Academy, the future is so bright. Do you see that? Do you know what Charlie Cashew calls that? Yeah. The pecan ton. Of course he does. Yep. He's that guy. He sure is. <laughs> it pained me to say that. <laughs> and what, what brings me such joy is I... I can see right in front of me, I can see Charlie Cashew's dad in attendance, a gentleman that I've known in my personal life for some 15 years. And oh, wow. I can just see him so proud of his son and everything that he's accomplished thus far. Hey. As Jay Brandon, <laughs> he just got hurled across the ring. Only a two count from Del Monte. I think it's great that as, um, as Chase Del Monte like I said, three-time heavyweight champion, longest reigning heavyweight champion. Longtime veteran, 18, 19, 20 years in the business. I love when a, a veteran takes a youngster under his wing. Yeah, I mean, give it back, you know? Something that helped me my entire career in professional wrestling. I mean, I came up in a time where Max Bauer was wrestling at Rick Fuller, uh, Brian Fury, Brian Malonis, Chase Del Monte, the Logan brothers, uh, Ivar, I mean, it's of Johnny, whatever you want to call him, but I had a plethora, Tom, Tom Champion, I had a plethora of knowledge that I was able to pick from, so yeah. it, it's really good that someone like Chase Dumont is able to stick around and help you know, someone like Charlie Cashew grow in his uh, professional wrestling career. And as we are technically in our 20th year of operation here in Chaotic Wrestling, oh, inside cradle by Brandon. He didn't lock the feet, that's why I didn't get it. Oh! Man, he is like a rag doll. One, two, and not enough for three. But, you know, Chaotic Wrestling On Demand you can see some of the great names that Julian just ran through. And, you know, I've been fortunate to sit at this table for 20 years. I've seen them all come, I've seen them all go, I've seen them start, I've seen them retire, I've seen them, their careers ending prematurely, such as yourself, you yeah. know? It's, it's one of the realities of this business, but it's a great place to be. It's Chaotic Wrestling, we appreciate everybody's support. And uh, check out some of the old footage at Chaotic Wrestling On Demand. You can get all the information at Chaotic, the newly renovated chaoticwrestling.com. I think right now, Cashew's doing way too much pandering. He sat Brandon down for some time. I think he was going for a, oh, his version of the Five Knuckles of Doom. Brandon rolls him up. You see, he hasn't mastered the setup yet. No. Oh. I'm sure that's a separate training class for Chase and Cashew on how to exact. Oh, oh geez. No! Sioux Falls City? Nope. Sioux Falls. <laughs> Down goes Jay Brandon again. Tags made. In comes the Chase that runs this place. Chase Del Monte. What a night we've had here tonight. We're on the road to Cole Fury. <clears throat> we have two title matches on tap, and they are going to close out the show. Here it comes. <laughs> the five knuckles of doom. <laughs> and J. 
Jay Brandon thought he was one step ahead. Oh! Sling blade. Got a sling blade out of nowhere, and I think this is a momentum changer here. Delmonte caught that foot like it was nothing, but uh, Jay Brandon never able to come back, connect with the sling blade. Now both men looking for the tags. Shoot Trey Jordan in one corner. You see Charlie Cashew in the order. Cashew's tagged in, as is Jordan. Oh. Roundhouse oh. kick misses. Oh. He's firing up some punches there. Oh, some wiggly arm punches from Trey Jordan. Roundhouse misses. Oh. Underneath. Oh. oh, man. How quick is this Charlie Cash? Oh, my goodness. Oh. Another suplex. Beautiful bridge. And can't hold him down. Wrestling bridge right there. Frustration setting in now. Uh, it, it's one thing Cashy wants to win the match, but I think he also wants to do Chase proud, you know? He, I mean, Chase Del Monte hand-selected Charlie Cashy to be his tag team partner. I mean, Chase Del Monte's tagged with many of people, including myself. He doesn't just pick willy-nilly. If he sees something in you, he chooses to try and bestow some of his knowledge on you. Oh! oh ho, ho, ho. Up goes Del Monte. Oh, ho, ho, low down! Oh, ho, ho, ho. Nice. great kick. Hard to keep up with all the action back and forth as all four competitors are down. That was Rich a Bass now starting the count. Fantastic kick by Char Charlie Cashew. Trent Jordan is down. Jay on the outside. Chase outside the ring slowly getting himself back up. A little dizzy. Trey Jordan and... Charlie Cashew in the ring. We've seen a lot of action here in this tag team match. As I said earlier, we got the New England title match coming up next. We've got the tag team titles defended in the main event. Our champion. Choke. Oh. He's got him by the throat. Charlie Cashew needs to break this. Whoa. Scoot through. It's those legs. Oh. Gets two. Tag by Chase Del Monte. Blind tag. Jordan charges Cashew, misses. Oh, going over. Oh, no. Up, oh, cradle to the grave. Oh, ho, ho. thanks for coming. Devastating. Oh, here it is. This is what he was talking about. That P camp. Pecan ton. Pecan ton, that's what it is. <laughs> Not pecan, pecan. Pecan ton for the win. Here are your winners, the team of Charlie Cashew and Chase Del Monte. And very impressive victory by one Chase Del Monte and Charlie Cashew. The sky is the limit with these guys, as Chase Del Monte previously said tonight. They are making waves and they just started with uh, these curly guys, you said. The waves and curls. Waves and curls, who I was thoroughly impressed with and I would absolutely love to see back here at Chaotic Wrestling. Cashew and Del Monte on to victory. When we come back, D.L. Hurst defends that New England title that he has held since August of 2019. He defends it tonight against Tyler Central. You know what? You're side. You're side. No, no, look at me. Look at me. We went out there and we put our hearts on the line. We did everything that we had to do. Look at me, look at me. We went out there. We proved ourselves. And yeah, we may have came up short. But I'm telling you this. We are here to stay. Is that a point? They took to us. Yeah. They felt us. You heard them. You felt the electricity running through your veins, and if you didn't feel that and didn't motivate you like it's motivating me, then I need a new tag partner. No, well, you're right. That's what I'm talking about. You're right! Gia. Gia. This crowd, there's something about this crowd. There's something mm -hmm. about this place. There's something mm -hmm. about chaotic. And you know what? I hope. I pray. I like when you get like this. This yeah. management mm -hmm. is watching. Mm -hmm. tell because him we ain't going him. out like tell this. Him. Tell him. Tell him. We want one more chance. We want one more opportunity. No, no, mas. Por favor. And we're going to show you. 
who waves and curls really are. That's what I'm talking about. Get mad. Get mad. Yeah. We're not walking away from the camera. Camera, walk away from us. That's right. Get up out of here. That right there be the doctor of loveonomics. Yeah, that was uh, quite the entrance, Rich Palladino. Oh. I have to commend you for being able to change it up on the fly there. And, oh, yeah, that's oh, quite, he spelled uh, it all out for me. Yeah, he did. Jeez. The doctor of loveonomics, cutie pie Cupid, Tyler Cintron. With Evan Walbridge, of course. Silent but deadly, Evan Walbridge. Got the uh, CW logo on his briefcase. Hearts all over his shirt. Here we go. Yeah. New England title. So, are they gonna like, like try and match Tyler Cintron's waist up with the <laughs> Calgary Wrestling New England Championship tonight? <laughs> Is that the point? Well, I mean, it, it does have that uh, red leather, but, um, you know, band. So. It would go perfectly with all this ridiculousness. The Shawn Michaels inspired trunks on no. Cintron. No, that's not a thing. No? It's his own personal design that he stole from no one. <laughs> oh boy. Um, irregardless of all that. Don't say that. <laughs> DL Hurst is a, proving to be a dominant New England champion having held that title since Summer Chaos, going closing in on six months as champion. And Cintron charges, misses, shoulder block, and down goes the champion, D.L. Hurst. Well, that's what D.L. Hurst gets for messing around. You're here to defend your championship. I mean, I don't, I'm a big MMA fan, and what happened with Anderson Silver back in the day is he got too cocky when he became champion, and uh, he got caught. And that's how he lost his championship. That's 100% something that can happen to D.L. Hurst. You're absolutely right. And you know D.L. Hurst would love to head into Cole Fury as New England champion. Absolutely, we wouldn't. Yeah. The New England champion won that title from Brandon Locke. Summer Chaos, Haverhill, Massachusetts. I don't have my, uh, my statistician isn't here. That's all right. Kind of lost. But, um, no one's keeping track. That's a yeah. It's, you know, it's it's for me though. It's I know. I know. Yes, April thirtieth. So uh, come into February, if DL Hurst still champion, that'll be a half a year that he has reigned. But he's got Tyler Cintron. So they were the marketing department, Cintron and Walbridge. Yeah. Then they were. Um, geez, what were they last time? Men at work. Yeah. Uh, no, they were the maintenance department. That's what it was. Now they're the matchmaking department. This is, uh, love is in the air. Uh, they're trying to find a job right now. I mean, once once their boss let them go, I mean, they kind of just were lost. They're like lost puppies right now. And, ooh, <laughs> T.L. Hurst. Oh, my goodness. Just laying in the chops on Tyler Cintron into the corner. Still, uh, oof, suplex holds on. Love the suplex One. there. Very impressed with this, this title reign of D.L. Hurst and very impressed with the promoters and matchmakers here in Chaotic Wrestling. We've seen, uh, this is becoming like the workhorse championship, you know, it's, Seems a lot of the younger guys, a lot of the hard workers going for that New England title, and that's a stepping stool to the heavyweight title. <laughs> He's threatening to throw out the briefcase. Cintron begging. Love to know what's in there. I wish we had a camera on us. We, we, we were given this fantastic 8x10 photo of Wallbridge. And the briefcase is open here. 
But, I mean, we don't know what's in it. He's making sure to shield it from us. The wonder continues. I, I honestly, my guess is it's empty. Just like their brains. <laughs> or their heads, I guess I should say. Uh-oh. He's going to throw the... Uh... <clears throat> well, he better not hit the Tron. Well, Brian Fury will take that belt out so quick. And wow. there goes the briefcase. Wahlberg is gonzo. Cintron to the outside, chopped to the chest by D.L. Hurst. Your New England champion. Whoa, okay. No, thank you. Up on the shoulders, landing in the ring is the challenger, Cintron. He's a smart man, that D.L. Hurst, as he just indicated there. But Hurst. not smart enough. Oof. Neckbreaker brings it back in the ring, legs hooked. <clears throat> Count of two. D.L. Hurst coming off a big victory over the international superstar, the Windy City Kid, T.J. Crawford. A youngster with a uh, bright future who's competed overseas. I think that's gonna be the future of D.L. Hurst. Got to talk to D.L. before the show tonight and uh, very excited. He's got a couple bookings in Tampa during Mania weekend. Great to see him branching out as he continues to defend the title of all of New England, especially here tonight against Tyler Cintron. My God. Thanks. Goes for the pin and gets two. Cintron, a little more seasoned than D.L. Hurst. Yeah, but not by much, I don't think. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm pretty sure they both get about two or three years into their belt, no? Well, Cintron's been in New England for about those two or three years, but I do know that he did wrestle professionally on the West Coast, specifically the Las Vegas area. Wow. And um, I happened to visit the New England Pro Wrestling Academy uh, one day, and I got to sit in the very impressive student lounge and uh, got to watch some footage of Tyler Cintron wrestling in Vegas against MDOG 20 Matt Cross. Very impressive matchup. And... Uh, Another kid with a bright future in pro wrestling. Uh, like I said, a little more seasoned than DL because he did move out here to train at the New England Pro Wrestling Academy. Much like a uh, young guy we know by the name of Flip Gordon. Same thing, moved to, to New England specifically to train there. Sintron is, basically this is graduate school for him. This is where he's getting his polish. This is where he's learning from the very best. Absolutely, and right now, I mean, he's making quick work. You see him chomping around on that gum? Yeah. It's, just, it's, like it's, it's like a walk in the park for him right now. He's feeling relaxed, relaxing all cool. He's very confident. Yeah. He's showing some b-ball outside the school. <laughs> I like it. First, gets the elbow up. I wouldn't have gone in there a second time. First time he got elbowed, I wouldn't go near D.L. Hurst after that. Hurst who holds a very impressive title defense victory over the alien, Chris Statlander, at breaking point. Charges in again, gets the boot up. And D.L. Hurst from nearby Ward Hill, Massachusetts, just about 20, 25 minutes up the highway, up I-495. Oh, no! Oh. And Cintron tried to break the fall. He was heading headfirst into that middle turnbuckle. He tried to change his trajectory. Instead, he uh, bypassed the bottom turnbuckle and ended face first on the canvas. That could be the break that D.O. Hurst needs as he connects, but only two. Only count of two. D.L. Hurst and Tyler Cintron. One of our two title matches on tap here tonight. Last time we were here in Hudson, it was the, the yoga master, Tyler Payne, had an opportunity at D.L. Hurst's title. He needs to go home and do all the stretches. Still stretching. And here comes Walbridge. Briefcase in hand. We don't know what it took him so long. happened the briefcase has been passed to Cintron he doesn't know what to, he doesn't want to get disqualified what is happening no no Quinn thinks 
He's a victim of circumstance. Yeah. When a Walbridge saying no, he didn't use it. I think he's a victim of circumstance. Quinn's had enough. D.O. from behind. Rolls this man up. Only a count of one. Close line ducked again. Oh, a spear. Spear. Up on the shoulders. Dropped him right on top of his head. Hurst yeah. with the cover. For the victory, Dead Belly Driver still retains your belt. New England champion, D.L. Hurst. Here is your winner and still chaotic wrestling, New England champion, D.L. Hurst. Impressive victory, title defense from D.L. Hurst as he retains the Kid Wrestling New England Championship. As of right now, it looks to be heading into Cole Fury. Well, as you stated before, we still got a few stops on the way. We sure do. D.L. Hurst retains the title. He will be defending it on February 21st in Lowell. That is the next stop on the road to Cole Fury. Dude, you guys are getting crazy here. I can't believe you got suspended too. Davey was mumbling about it before. I wasn't really paying attention to me like a hair. No, JT. Sorry, Sorry. Can I say something? Yeah, man. What's up? Cool. Uh, first off, congratulations. Thank you. So you got some Thank hard you. run. And, um, unfortunately, your partner got suspended. So I'm assuming that you're free next show? Yeah, I didn't get suspended. I'll be here. Okay. So, what are you getting at? July 19th, 2019. Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah. I remember. Beat the clock challenge? Ever since that day, that buzzer, when it hit zero, has been ringing in my head. Now, uh, since then, I got myself some hardware too. Shiny, right? Yeah, it's yeah. good. Yeah. Now, I need to, uh, I think I need to avenge that. That match didn't get a winner. I, uh, I know I can beat you. You know you can beat me. Mm -hmm. I like you a lot, D.L. I like your confidence right now. This is the type of person I like to fight. Mm -hmm. but I don't fight for free. You put the New England Championship on the line and give me a shot at now becoming a Grand Slam champion here in Chaotic and leave an even bigger legacy, I'll accept your fight. That's See you there, baby. Champ. Kid's got balls, huh? Davey is going to kill me for taking this match, dude. Oh, no. I... Typical. Typical. Yo, boy, yo. Start for a sec. Start talking. Sure. See, the aggression again. I simply was coming out, you know, trying to you know, play nice, you know, placate things. Yeah, we get but it. We had a rough night. You don't have to rub it in. All right. It's not your first loss. Yeah, I mean, and it won't be our last. And then here come your new pro. I mean, yeah. It's cute. Yeah, it's cute. Yeah, the I new thought, shiny toys. I thought you were a hooligan, Chase. What's with the come on. Your Golden uh, Boys shirt? I, I started the hooligans. It's a t-shirt, guys. Okay. We're yeah, still the hooligans that. here. Yeah. All right. I mean, so a couple of kids beat you. Like, it's a big deal. Hey. We don't need you to talk for us. Yeah, we won on our own tonight. Guys, right. you don't have to be defensive. I'm not being We're defensive. Not defensive. I'm just saying. This is your crew. Good, good for you. We're proud of you. Yeah. All right, you're choosing sides here. Clearly, it's you two. It's you two. We have been loyal since day one. You used yep. to be. If this is how you want it to be, then let's settle it. Yeah, I see where this is heading. Yeah, me and Maddie, you two, you two. Right. Your funeral. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Yeah. My ride. Uh, out of the city. Got me off. But I think that's on the way to Nutville.
huh, that sounded really good. Well, what are you up to on that, that phone call there? Wait, I, I'm wrestling him? No, he's been a champion everywhere. Walbridge, you've done it again. You should definitely book here. <laughs>